Hey guys, it's Drek on Everyday Alchemy. I'm going to be showing you how to make silver sheet out of just junk silver parts you have around. I will be using these sterling parts in here. It's about an ounce of silver, so hopefully I can get a decent sized sheet. I will be putting it in a crucible like this. This is a crucible marked for sterling, and I will start. What I'm holding in my hand here is borax powder. It's supposed to make it flow easier. I've got one little bead that's trying to stick. That is all of it. It is all kind of in my crucible now. I will sprinkle the borax powder on top, which should, again, ease the flow. I've never done this before, so I don't know exactly how it's going to work. Now, normally I would close this off, and I will close it off after I start the process, and I'll show you what it looks like once it's molten. But you turn your acetone torch on, you take your igniter, this sparks like that, it's just simple flint and steel. Get the gas going, start it, then you take your flame and run it in the crucible like so. And this will melt the silver into a fluid that I can pour out on a flat slab. Now I'm going to close this off and continue to heat it, and I will show you what it looks like once it's molten. All right, now it's important to note that I've closed it off to trap and reflect more heat. I'm coming in with tweezers and taking the pieces that aren't exposed and moving them into the heat of my flame to get them to, to slag with the rest of it. All right, at this point you can see that my silver has started to redden. So I believe that the sterling is now molten and hot enough to flow out onto this, which will flatten it and spread it out a little bit. So I'm going to grab it with copper tongs and tilt the crucible over. That'll have to do. Alright, so now I've taken the hottest, largest piece and I've brought it over to an anvil where I am stamping it a little bit flatter before I get it so work hardened that I have to use a rolling mill and anneal it to get it any flatter. You can see that after the pour, we've come in and flattened the metal through a roller and we skipped that segment but we'll show you the next few rolls. Right now it's about 12 gauges in thickness and it needs to be less than that to work with for our purpose. So, we are going to anneal it every few gauges, which just means heat it up, and then I take it over to this water and quench it, like so, and then we'll take it back to the roller. We'll show you that next. Here we have the lovely Draculina, and she is using this roller set to this thickness to run our silver through. The thickness actually does not matter does so, does and it's not. getting longer and thinner, and that's what we need to make our sculptural rings. Alright guys, so after rolling the, the silver into a sheet, this is what I'm left with. You can see that it is a slightly odd shape. Our roller really has a fixed diameter that it can accept metal in without turning it into wire. So, this is what I'm left with, but it's flat on both edges and with the exception of this which is very sharp and jagged this side is very smooth and it'll be very easy to use this to make rings out of rings similar to the one that I wear in all my videos and it's shiny it's polished it came out of the pickle ready to be used for construction of jewelry and this is exactly what I wanted after all of that smelting now this is the other leftover bit of silver it's about, I'm trying to show it on camera, I think I have it centered. This is just a block of solid silver. It's about three Trojan ounces. In fact, I can show you 
on my scale here. And I will set it on there. I think I've made sort of an ingot. My scale is reading 3.194 ounces for this. So it's an ingot. It's a solid piece. It's also very shiny because of the pickle process. And I think that with the current price of sterling, this is worth well over 100 bucks. So my time spent smelting was certainly not wasted. So that is my sheet sterling, that is my ingot, and that is how you smelt silver. 